Now in this example, I'm just using a line drawing here that I created. Um, it's very simple. It's not too crazy. It's just quick lines, uh, perspective drawing of like a train station or something. And uh, I'm just going to use black and white and layer styles and adjustment layers to create sort of a little more finished concept piece, but uh, just using color only and black and white just to make the image a little more interesting without doing too much crazy work. Like it's the process of this is very fast and you're just blocking in different areas. But anyway, I'm laying in the shadows right now. I'm just using black and a brush. And I'm just kind of defining where my shadows are being casted and where the light source is coming from. And um, just hitting up areas where I want to put some shadow. And again, very quick. Like it's it's very loose. It's not um, a tight drawing by any means. And, uh, and I sort of take a compositing pro approach with this. So I just fill in black pixels and then I use the opacity on the layers to dial it in to get it to the value that I'm looking for. Um, and now in this particular layer I just make a new layer and I'm just painting on it with white and I'm defining where my light source is coming from or my brights in the image which is kind of like a drawing from light example. And I'm just going through and hitting up areas of interest of where I want some light to show through and little pockets of light and then like kind of our directional light source. Defining some little bits of area there. Grab a new brush and I'm just kind of laying in some of the uh, the forms. Again, very loose because um, this is quick. And uh, just some other areas to help uh, visually pull you into this. Create a moon really quick and uh, using the blur tool to blur it out. And I'm going to fix some of these shadows here. They're a little crazy. And uh, define them a little bit more. Now the brush, I'm just painting in some suggestion of detail. I'm not, again, going crazy with it. I'm just blocking in like, hey, these are brick and they have some sections in them and uh, just going from there. So it's, again, subtle detail, simple, just using simple brushes. And I'm going to block in a silhouette of a city in the background. Just again, using a flat brush. I like the flat brush. And sort of quickly throw in some black pixels, dial it in, and now I'm going to start using some layer styles to layer in some gradients and to use those gradients as sort of um, variations in light and shadow. And now here I'm putting a pattern in to sort of break up some of the monotony of the flatness and uh, go ahead and lay in some ambient light that might be casted from some of these lights that are in there. I'm just adding some additional highlights. Sort of punch up some areas of interest. Again, constantly switching brushes and just adding little details here and there. some edging and then I use overlay quite a bit with this too like the light is actually set to overlay so the white pixels are set to overlay which pick up a little bit of the saturation of the blue and punches it up so um, it's pretty cool to use that and it's, I'm not the only one that does that and everybody kind of uses the overlay for certain things and again using a layer style to add variation in shadow so I'm creating that gradient and now the moon, I'm just throwing in some clouds with a cloud brush that I had and making it subtle. I don't want anything too crazy because it's not really a high detail drawing. It's just very suggestive and minimal detail because you just want to get the point across. And again, this is just about keeping it loose and just adding a little bit of flavor or sauce to your, to your line drawing. Now I'm just throwing in some little lights. Use a soft brush, add a little glow. and hit up these lights here just to make it a little more interesting. The clocks on these buildings which are very nondescript. And then adding it a pattern sort of suggests a little more texture. 
some lighting. So it's like you grab your pattern, you dial it in. Which is um, a very compositing like approach. It's not just painting like you're laying in pixels and then using adjustment layers, layer opacity, and you're dialing things in. So the approach is a little bit different here for this. Now using a layer style I'm creating sort of a glow around the moon. And uh, taking a look at our image here. And uh, it's getting there. I mean, don't want to spend too much time on it because again this is just supposed to be a fast exercise and just fast. I'm grabbing a brush to uh, lay in some texture into the trees. Which I actually found a tree brush, which I probably could have used, but it wouldn't fit the style of this drawing. Because again, it's just a simple line drawing. There's no, no real details in this. I'm trying a couple different shape blurs on the background. Uh, you should experiment with the different blur types. They give you some interesting um, variations in blur. So you could do shape blurs, or you could do a box blur, and they all give you different results. So it's cool to just play around with those, and, and they give you some neat effects. So here, I'm making a blur of the layer. I did a copy merged. I blurred it and set it to hard light, and then I'm dialing it in. Um, and it helps sort of bleed some colors over and some values over to give it a softer look. Um, and again, I'm doing that on the light now, too, so it's a little bit softer um, and not so hard. And then I, I wanted to punch up the light a little more, so I just duplicated the light layer and then dialed it in a little bit more there, too. Now here, again, an adjustment layer of a gradient, and I'm creating a vignette to sort of, you know, help the mood of this a little bit. Adjust the gradient and adjust the uh, opacity. Kind of arrange it how I uh, want it to go. And then taking a look at our drawing here, kind of figuring out like, hey, we're going to really use some more, some more detail, but there's not a whole lot of detail. So now I'm just grabbing a texture brush, and I'm just laying in some texture of of the walls, adding some noise in, so it's uh has a little bit of texture to it, it's just not so flat. Then just laying in a little bit more detail, just suggestive. Little sections of lines, those go a long way for architectural stuff and little uh, bevels and I'm going to paint some little windows on these buildings here so they're not so stark. I'm just making this simple. Duplicate, use the transform tools, kind of fix the perspective on it. And then I'm just going to duplicate this and shift them down and fill these other ones in. And then use a layer style on it to break up the windows with a pattern of like some glass. And there we go. So we'll take a look at our image now. I'm going to fix some of these shadows because they're not right. Define a little bit more forms. Add some cast shadows along these beams here. And we're getting pretty close. Again, very simple. Not too crazy. Reduce some of these lines because the highlight's pretty, pretty bright there. Dial in a little bit more light, and then using a gradient to get some more value. So I'm adjusting a gradient on an angle, and I just use a preset. Change the angle to sort of fit where the lighting is going, and then I'm pushing some colors in that are complementary into this and then dial the opacity so it's not too... Um, so it's got a little bit of color variation. It's still monotone but has color variation. And um, this is as far as we're going to take this one. But you can see that we've very easily layered up um, sort of a value drawing. And we just used white. We just used black. 
with adjustment layers and layer styles and layer opacity mode of overlay to quickly just transform this line drawing into something better.